Hey guys, welcome back. <clears throat> Today we've got a Chris Reeve Large Sabenza 31. Now, I typically use my personal Large Sabenza 21 as uh, one of my size comparison knives, which is right here, which I will bring out. Um, but Snuggle Tummy loaned in this very plain, just bead blasted uh, 31 as an example. So I wanted to kind of talk about the 31 just quickly because it's very similar to the 21 and then do a little bit of comparison between the two, okay? First off, I love some aspects of Chris Reeve. I mean, I love the knives. They're not, I don't, I've gone through a lot of them. My, my brother is super big into Chris Reeve knives, has several. Um, I have just the one currently. I've had four or five at, a, at one time, but yeah, they just weren't long-term keepers for me. But what I really love is a couple of things. One, they have kind of their birthday card, birth certificate that tells what it is uh, and the date. I love the fact that they have dates on them. Um, some other makers used to do dates and then they stopped doing dates and I think that was a mistake because the date thing, while it's kind of insignificant, it's really cool. A lot of people are searching for, you know, their birthday date to own. Um, and I'd have to look up on my card what date mine is. I don't remember. The other thing I love is in the box, they give you the tools to take it apart because they encourage that. And not only that, but in this particular one, they give you an exploded diagram and they talk about every little part as to what it is. And I think that is really, really awesome. And then they tell you how to sharpen it, with what degrees, how to clean it, how to tighten up the pivots. You know, they, they give you all of this like user information because they're not scared if you take it apart. Like, <laughs> it seems pretty logical to me. And I've done a disassembly of, I think it was this one. Um, there's a Chris Reeves playlist, I believe. So check that out. Um, they're super simple to take apart. And quite honestly, most knives that I have taken apart are super simple, regardless of what the maker tries to make it out to be. It's some super secret, you know, if you open it up, the flux capacitor blows up or some stupid thing. Chris Reeve doesn't care. They want you to take it apart. They give you the exploded diagram. They give you the tools. They give you some grease. They give you everything you need to maintain this for the life of the knife. All right, back to the knife. Closed length is four and three quarters. Overall length is eight and three eighths. Blade is 3.6. 3.37 cutting edge. I believe all Chris Reeve knives are S35BN. Don't quote me on that, but I believe they all are, other than obviously they have a bunch of Damascus ones. But all of their standard ones, I believe, are all S35BN. Blade thickness is relatively thin at 0 0.120. Overall thickness of 0.453. Weighs in at 4.6 ounces and runs on phosphor bronze washers. This is their drop point style. Lanyard's been taken off of this one. Let's kind of zoom in. They do a great job on the blade. Nice stone wash. Nice bead blasting on the scales. Pop a blue for that lanyard um, spacer. Pop a blue here on the um, spacer, made in Idaho, Idaho made, and a sterile blade with the blue thumb stud. I think they do a really fantastic job. So then if we look at my 21, it has the uh, Insingo blade, which is the blade shape I just prefer better. I, nothing wrong with that. But again, 
Very sterile blade, no big markings, the Idaho made. This one has the carbon fiber inlays. And just again, mine is bead boss on the lock face, but the rest is kind of a satin tumbled polish, which I like better. The bead blasting here is not gritty, but there's a texture, you know, there's, it's, there's a feel to it. And I just prefer a little more finished look, but this one is totally good, totally user, you know, friendly. This has the single thumb stud. Mine has double thumb studs, so they do it both ways. But overall, great knives. So a couple of differences. Now I am not a Chris Reeve expert, and I guarantee there are people that know a lot more about them than me. Please put in the comments the differences that I did not mention between the two, because I guarantee there will be some, because I really only know of two distinct differences. The first one is the angle of the pocket clip. So the 31, if we were to put them straight up and down, it cants the knife a little bit towards the back of your pocket, towards the back of your leg slightly. I don't know that for me, that makes a big difference in pocketability. Okay, I carry a lot of big knives that take up most of my pocket or a big chunk of my pocket. So that doesn't really do a lot for me, but it does cant it back slightly towards your back. Um, which, if it had a flipper tab, that'd be awesome because it gets that flipper tab farther away from your hand if you reach in to grab something or you just put your hands in your pocket. Um, because I don't have a lot of stuff in my knife pocket. Um, so that's one distinct difference is the angle of the clip. The other one that it is really just hard to show, I don't even think I can, is it has a ceramic detent bowl right at the tip of the lock face, which actually becomes part of the lock face, is what I'm told. I have not opened this up. But what that does is it is smoother. Now, Sebenzos are smooth to begin with, and I can't even show you on camera, but this one has just a steel detent ball, I guess it is. Um, it's, they're both still smooth, but there is a distinct difference in the feel of this one versus this one. Um, and those are the main differences that I am aware of. If, if there are other differences, please let me know down in the description or down in the comments, because, you know, like I said, I am not a Chris Reeve expert, <clears throat> but those are the differences. But overall size, form, function, all of that is the same. They did not change the size. The large Sabenza is the large Sabenza. Same, 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 right? So let's do some comparisons with our normal stuff, the Sharpie. Um, the other thing I do like about the Chris Reeve stuff is it comes with a branded microfiber cloth, which is always nice to have. <clears throat> Here's the Spyderco Delica. So I think the Chris Reeve is not a small knife but it's not a big knife, if you will. Um, uh, I'm searching for something here. How about the Holt Spectre, which is slightly smaller, a little bit thicker, fills your hand slightly better, different because it's thicker, but shorter this way. Um, just because I love this one, the Hellraiser. And how about the 523? Can't really compare it with the large Sabenza 21 because I already did that. So there I have it, guys. I mean, I do like Chris Reeve knives. There's nothing wrong with them. They kind of are the pioneers in frame locks. Um, their smoothness. One great thing about them is every 
single Chris Reeve knife I have picked up, whether it's this is the large size or the small size, regardless of blade, because they do come in a Tonto, the drop point, and the Insingo, every single one I have picked up has the same exact action. This one's slightly smoother because it's a new model. It's the 31. But every 21 I've picked up, large or small, has had the exact same super smooth, glassy feel, which speaks to me. You can mass produce and get the same exact action every time. There are a ton of other American makers that can't do that. Every single model I pick up of other makers, I mean, it could be the same model, has totally different action, has to break in. Some will break in super smooth, some will break in kind of smooth. I mean, Chris Reeve has, and, and the guys there, have, have it figured out where every single one is the same. And that to me, speaks volumes. There are other makers that pound in that they've got the exacting tolerances and they do it all by hand and they hand fit and finish and blah, 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 blah. But yet the action from one knife to the other is totally different and they never break in and be the same. Years later, I've got knives from certain makers that are still, that are completely broken in, but they feel totally different and they're the same exact model. I really got to hand it to Chris Reeve Knives for just as a customer and a consumer, you know exactly how it's going to feel when you pick it up because they're always the same. That's pretty impressive to me when they pump out as many knives as they pump out. So, all right, there you go. Thanks, Snuggle Tummy, for loaning this in. It was great to experience this one as well. So you guys have a fantastic day. I greatly appreciate your time and we'll see you on the next one.